And today I want, to, I want us to look at what are the enemy, what are the tactics of the enemy. Danas želim da uh, malo pogledamo koje su uh, taktike neprijatelja. And which side are we um, working for? I na čijoj strani mi radimo? Turn, turn with me to Proverbs chapter 6 verse 16. Čitamo u priče 6, uh, 16. stih. We'll read down to verse 19. Do 19. stiha. Proverbs 6.16 6, says, These six things the Lord hates, yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. Na ovo šestoro brzi gospodi, sedmo je gad duši njegovoj. Oči ponosite, jezik lažljivi, ruke koje proljevaju krv pravu. Srce koje kuje zle misli, noge koje brzo trče na zlo. Lažan svedok koji govori laž i ko zameće svađu među braćom. We can see here that there are seven things and five of them are based on the human body. Ovde vidimo uh, sedam stvari koje Bog mrzi. Peto, petoro od ovih stvari se baziraju na ljudsko telo. As brother Pavle said, we are a body as as um pa Pavle both Paul said. Um kao što je rekao naš brat Pavle, mi jesmo telo Hristovo. And every one of us has a part to play in God's kingdom. I svaki od nas ima svoj deo um, i, i svoj posao u Božjem carstvu. But these parts of the body are doing the opposite of God's kingdom. Ali ovi udovi rade protiv Božjeg carstva. We can see we have a proud look, the eyes. Vidimo ovde oči um, koje su ponosne. We have a tongue that speaks lies. Jezik koji govori laži. We have hands that shed innocent blood. Ruke koje prolivaju pravu krv. We have a heart that devises wicked plans. Srce koje uh, ima loše planove. Zle and planove. feet that are running swiftly to do what's wrong. I noge koje brzo trče da čine zlo. And then he finishes off, the, the Solomon finishes off with the words, a false witness who speaks lies and one who sows discord among brothers. On the Solomon završavlja i završava i kaže lažan svedok koji govori laži ko zameće svađu među braćom. It is if he's highlighting again what he said earlier. Kao da naglašava ono što je ranije rekao. When it says here these six things the Lord hates, but the seventh is an abomination. It's highlighting the seventh. Kad kaže na šestorom mrzi Gospodi, sedmo je gad duši njegovoj, onda ta sedma stvar je pogotovo važna. Because all these six are bad and all these six are opposite to God. Ove šest stvari mrzi Gospod. But anything that divides brothers is really really what God is not about. Ali nešto što uh, podeljuje braću je nešto što je stvarno protiv Boga i što ne voli. It's foreign to God's character. To je strano njegovom karakteru. In fact the word therefore hates the word there that says hate. Ovde je reč koju vidimo što znači mržnja. Signifies intense um, animosity or, or enmity towards something or someone. Pokazuje uh, duboku mržnju i neprijateljstvo prema nekome. In fact, this word is even translated at times as enemy in the Bible. Uh, u Bibliji se ova reč uh, često prevodi kao reč neprijatelj. So this part of proverb is telling us that the enemy of God, what's opposite of God are these six things in particular the last one. I ovdje vidimo šest stvari koje Bog mrzi, a pogotovo sedmu stvar, a gadi se sedmoj stvari. We are in a war. Mi smo u ratu. And we have an enemy. I imamo neprijatelja. 
According to the book of Revelation, we know who the enemy is. U otkrivenju možemo čitati i znati ko je taj neprijatelj. He has many nicknames. Ima mnogo imena. Called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. Đavo i Sotona, onaj koji je prevario ceo svet. And it also says what his characteristics are like. Također nam pokazuje kakav je njegov karakter. It says that he deceives and he accuses our brothers or brethren. On vara i osuđuje našu braću. And he accused them before our God day and night. He's the one that has been cast down. On to čini pred Bogom danju i noću. On je taj koji je odbačen. You see, the enemy of God is always the accuser, the one who deceives, the one who divides. Boži neprijatelj je uvek onaj koji osuđuje i tuži druge. On je taj koji razdvaja. So again, I want to ask you, who are you working for? Who do you want to be working for? I opet vas pitam, za koga radite i za koga želite da radite? The word for devil in the New Testament. Reč za djavola u Novom Zavetu. Diabolos. Je diabolos. Which literally means a false accuser or a slanderer or devil. Ta reč znači lažni obtužitelj ili onaj koji govori laži. I'm sure each one of us has Um, experiences in our own life when someone falsely accuses of you accuses you Verujem da smo svi iskusili to kada nas neko lažno optuži There is a phrase you can say oh he's a devil or what a devil she was uh, Možete koristiti uh, frazu ili izreku ah baš je ta osoba baš je đavo Because there's nothing worse than being falsely accused as human beings we want justice and what's right nema ništa gore nego kada nas neko lažno optužuje. Mi želimo pravdu i želimo da svi znaju istinu. Of course in English we have the word diabolical which is the same thing, something that's wicked or evil. Na engleskom slična reč je reč um, diabolical, nešto što je zlo ili loše. But in the New Testament the word is also used of people. U Novom zavetu ova se reč također koristi kada se opisuju opisuju ljudi. You have in John chapter 8 verse 10. U Jovanu 8:10. Just quickly there. It's the story of the woman caught in adultery and people have brought her to Jesus so that he would condemn her. Ovo je žena koja je bila uhvaćena u preljubi i doveli su je Isusu da bi je on osudio. But he doesn't ali on je ne osuđuje. What does he tell the woman when they all go? He says, "Woman, where are those accusers of yours?" Ali on to nije učinio i kada su svi otišli, on joj je rekao, "Ženo, gde su oni što te tuž, tužahu?" The word is diabolos. Reč koja se ovdje koristi jeste diabolos. In other words, where are those devils or those who are dividing, accusing, slandering you? Drugim rečima, gde su oni đavoli koji uh, su podelili narodi koji te optužuju. You see, the word devil is more about who he is, not what he's called. Reč đavo je više o onome ko je on, a ne kako se zove. What he does for a living. Uh, to opisuje ono što on radi. His occupation. Njegov posao. He is a devil, he is an accuser, on se... slanderer. A on gossiper. se ne samo zove đavo, on i jeste đavo i tako se i ponaša, optužuje i govori laži. Okay. In John chapter 6 we have a different accuser. U Jovanu 6 možemo videti drugog optužitelja. 17. Jovan 6, 17. And here it's someone who is actually part of A, Jesus disciples. Uh, i ovdje se optuži uh, on je deo Isusovih učenika. Jesus says, did I not choose you the 12 and one of you is a devil. Isus im odgovori, ne izabrahli vas 12-oricu i jedan od vas i jedan je od vas đavo. So Jesus knew the character of Judas. He was the one who was causing division or would will cause division. Because of where he is going. Isus je bio upoznat sa judinim karakterom. Znao je da će on uh, podeliti um, ljude. And then we have also in chapter 12 of the same book. I u Jovanu 12 verse 4 to 6 od 4. do 6. stiha. I 
I'm sorry, I forgot which word is, is, is here. I can't see any word. But basically we have, oh sorry, basically we have here an example of Judas being an accuser. He's accusing the woman of wasting money. Ovdje vidimo primjer kada je Juda bio optužitelj, optužio je ženu uh, da besmisleno troši svoje pare. With other times where the word is not used but where Jesus tells to Peter, get behind me Satan or the adversary, the enemy. Imamo druge primjere gdje se reč koristi kada Isus kaže uh, Petru, um, idi od mene Sotono. Obviously Jesus is not calling Peter Satan. On ne kaže Petru da je on uh, Sotona. But he recognizes that the the voice, the thought, the idea is coming from the enemy, and not from Peter. Ali je prepoznao da glas, da ta misao dolazi od neprijatelja. So Jesus recognized that in his life on earth, the enemy was working in and through people. Isus je prepoznao da uh, dok je on živeo na ovom svetu, uh, neprijatelj je radio kroz ljude. Both people in the church and out of the church. Ljudi koji su bili u crkvi i van crkve. Leaders and ordinary people. Vođe i obični ljudi. And when Paul writes to Timothy and Titus he's warning against people who are slandering people who are accusing each other. I kada je Pavle pisao Timoteju i Titu upozorio ih je protiv ljudi e, koji govore laži i koji optužuju druge. And the same word is used for Ista the, for the devil. se koristi za đavola. In fact when, de- when Satan started his rebellion on earth on, on in heaven and on earth he started by accusing slandering and saying things to break down trust between people. Kada je Sotona počeo na nebu a i na zemlji da stvara probleme to je sve poteklo od uh, njegovih optuženja na druge. This is who he is. On uh, to je ovo što on jeste. The question is How often do we let the enemy to work through us? Pitanje jeste koliko često do, dozvoljavamo neprijatelja da radi kroz nas. How often do we allow him to frustrate us and get us angry at each other? Koliko često mu dozvoljavamo da uh, nas iskoristi da budemo ljuti i frustrirani sa drugima? Because he will do anything he, he can to divide. On će učiniti i dati sve od sebe da bi nas raz, razdelio. The word diabolos comes from two words put together. Reč diabolos dolazi od dve reči koje su sastavljene. Which literally means to throw apart. Što bukvalno znači da se razdvoji, yeah. raz raz uh, yeah. And this is where we get the word for slanderer. Someone who d- who brings discord as proverb says, who brings discord between brothers. Neko koji uh, stvara Uh, nesporazum među braćom. Yeah. The story we heard this morning um, that I shared with the kids comes from um, well it's known to come from Aesop. He was a slave in the time of the Greek Empire. Priča koju smo koju sam jutros podelio sa decom dolazi od uh, oh, Aesop. Do you know how to say it? Aesop. Aesop. Aesop koji je bio sluga u And it reveals that the same enemy was working way back then. I pokazuje da isti neprijatelj čak i tada radio. And Philip of Macedon, the father of Alexander the Great. Filip Makedonski koji je bio otac Aleksandra Velikog. Would have known this story probably because he lived only 200 years after Aesop. Je verovatno znao za ovu priču jer je živeo samo 200 godina nakon Ezopa. And he learned the lessons and and he actually united the Greek people. On je naučio lekciju iz te priče i ujedinio je grčki narod. And he was the first to come up with the phrase divide and conquer. On je bio prvi da koristi ovu frazu uh, raz, raz Zavedi pa vlada, yeah, thanks. Which is, yeah, okay. Divide and conquer, usually we say in English, comes from um, Philip of Macedon. Though he never actually applied this outside. He actually applied the ve- very opposite. He, he, he united his people. Iako je on možda smislio ovu um, izreku, on je uradio uh, suprotnu stvar i ujedinio je narod. It was actually many years later, centuries later, that Julius Caesar, upon studying the greek and uh, the greeks um yeah the greeks 
mnogo godina kasnije kada je Julije Cezar studirao sa Grcima. He was fascinated by the Greek conquests and he used the term or, or the Romans used the term um, in, um, divide et impera which means divide and rule. Um, on je bio fasciniran sa grčkim uh, pobedama i kasnije je koristio rečenicu uh, podeli pa vladaj. Yeah, yeah. 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 Basically, basically the same okay. principle that, came, that, that, Macedon, that, that Philip uh, of Macedon was talking about. Isti princip koji je Filip uh, govorio pre mnogo stotina godina. But he used it to control the then known world. On je to koristio da vlada nad uh, tadašnjem svetu. He caused arguments or uh, discord amongst the Gauls for example in France. Stvorio je uh, rasprave i nesporazume među golima koji su tada živjeli u gdje je sada Francuska. The idea was to keep them separated in different tribes and clans. Želio je da ih podeli u svoje uh, klanove i, i plemena yeah. in, order, in order to keep them weak against his army. Da bi bili slabi protiv njegove vojske. And when they finally united it was too late. Caesar had already taken over. I kada su um, se napokon Gaul. ujedinili već je bilo suviše kasno jer je Cezar već vladao nad tom zemljom. Basically there was four different principles by which this um, strategy worked. Uh, postoje četiri principa uh, po kojim ova strategija funkcioniše. Which Caesar employed and as well as other Caesars following him. I Julius Caesar i drugi Cezari nakon njega su koristili ovu strategiju. The first thing was to create and encourage division among the subjects of the empire. Prva stvar je da stvore ili da uh, encourage Yeah, pospešuju, yeah, thanks. Um, rasprave i divizije među narod. And th- therefore they couldn't unite against the emperor or the king. Da ih spreči da se oni ujedine protiv cara ili vladara. He would also promote or aid those who were on his side. Također bi pomogao onima koji su bili na njegovoj strani. At least while it was suitable for him. Bar dok je to njemu uh, išlo u korist. He would continue to have the local rulers to be in suspect of each other and um, at enmity as enemies. Želo je i radio da uh, lokalni vladari bi uh, ne bi se voljeli međusobno nego bi um, sumnjali na druge. Yeah, ni, nisu imali povjerenje. And Rome employed the fourth one very extensively that was to encourage meaningless spending so that there was no potential for political military um, growth. I četvrta stvar je bila vrlo važna i to jeste da um, promoviraju uh, trošak novaca na besmislene stvari da im ne bi ostao novac za političke stvari ili za vojske. That way when they would conquer a land they would give them theaters and they would give them baths and spas and things of um, entertainment so that the people would be so consumed with those things and not be able to fight against Zbog the toga kada bi Rimljani došli u novo mesto bi im dali pozorište i uh, kupaone, banje i te stvari da troše novac i vremena na, na te stvari. Basically we can summarize everything that that Rome did as in dividing and conquering as encouraging distrust. Uh, možemo sumirati da kažemo da su oni uh, želeli da postoji sumnja i nepoverenje. Deception. Uh, prevara. You never know really what's going on. Ne bi nikada stvarno znali šta se događa. And even those who were given gifts, you know, there was all for um, an ulterior, an ulterior motive. It I wasn't oni, from the heart. Oni koji su dobijali poklone i dobre stvari, tu su postojali drugi motivi, nije to bilo od srca. And there was distraction with entertainment and other things that Rome gave to keep people occupied. Također bi ih uh, distraction stvarali bi zabave i zabavne stvari da bi se ljudi skoncentrisali na to Pliny the younger actually witnessed how ludicrous this was and he wrote uh, osoba koja se zove Pliny mlađi uh, je gledao kako se ovo sve uh, događa i on je napisao He was a Roman statesman and author On je bio uh, rim, rimljanin u politi- I don't know how to say statesman yeah. političar yeah 
he says, the races were on, a type of spectacle which has never had the slightest attraction for me. Uh, trke su, uh, bilo je vreme trka, uh, ovo je stvar koja nikada, nije, uh, nikada me nije privlačila. I can find nothing new or different in them. Once seen in is enough, so it surprises me that all the more so many thousands of adult men should have such childish passion for watching galloping horses, drivers and standing I've lost it. Standing in chariots over and over again. To summarize. Uh, ne, mogu, ne mogu naći neš, neke novosti u, ovo, u ovome. Kada se jednom vidi, to je dovoljno i ne mogu razumjeti zašto hiljade uh, ljudi bi imali uh, toliku detinjastu ljubav uh, da gledaju uh, konje koji brzo trče i uh, kočijaše uh, svaki put ponovo gledaju. When I think how this futile, tedious, monotonous business can keep them sitting endlessly in their seats, I take pleasure in the fact that their pleasure is not mine. Kada uh, mislim kako ova besmislena i, i dosadna aktivnost ih može držati uh, stalno u svoje sedište, uh, drago mi je da uh, njihova ljubav prema ovom, da ne delim ljubav prema ovome kao što oni to čine. There was a purpose behind all the colosseums and all the theaters that Rome built. Bio je cilj i uh, iza svih uh, pozorišta teatra i koloseja uh, koji su Rimljani izgradili. Also what Rome did was they would um, divide land when they conquered a territory. Rimljani bi takođe podelili zemlju kada bi um, postali vladari nad novom zemljom. That's when you read the, the Gospels, you, you find Judea, Samaria, um, Galilee and other parts of the same one's country. Kada čitamo Bibliju možemo videti da je uh, Izraelska zemlja takođe bila podeljena u Samariju, uh, Judeju, Galilej. This is because the Jews were known to be very stubborn to the Roman occupation. To je zato što su Rimljani znali da su Jevreji uh, čvrsto bili protiv njih uh, i njihove okupacije. So to keep them divided in smaller sections it was easier to manage. Bilo je lakše da podele zemlju u, u, u manje delove, bilo je lakše za vladanje. Jesus himself says that every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself will not stand. Um, okay. um, Isus kaže da svako carstvo koje se razdeli samo po sebi opusteće i svaki grad ili dom koji se razdeli sam po sebi propašće. Because this is the enemy's tactic. Ovo je uh, plan neprijatelja. And just like he inspired world leaders from the beginning of time down to this at this age. I kao što je on inspirisao uh, svetske vođe od početka vremena pa sve i do danas. To use distrust, distrust, deception and distraction. Da koriste nepoverenje, prevaru um, i, i zabavu. To divide people. Da podele ljude. He is doing the same thing in your life and in my life today. On čini istu stvar u tvom i mom životu danas. And we also know from Daniel 11:39 that this didn't stop with Rome. I znamo iz Danijela 11:39 da ovo nije stalo sa Rimskom imperijom. The power that followed the Christian church that followed became also corrupted and used the same tactics of their predecessors. Hrišćanska crkva koja je nakon toga nastala je koristila iste taktike kao oni koji vladari koji su bili pre njih. A prophecy in verse 39 says that he shall cause them to rule over many and divide the land for gain. I učini će ih gospodarima nad mnogima i razdelit će zemlju mesto plate. This was the same spirit that led Babylon, Medo Persia, Greece and Rome that followed into the Christian age of the world. Ovo je isti duh koji je vodio Medo Persiju, Vavilon, Grčku i Rim. And we know that throughout the ages this has been a common strategy for world empires. I znamo da kroz vekove ovo je uh, jedna strategija koja je uvek korištena. Proverbs 6:19 tells us that God hates when there is discord among brothers. 
priči 6.19 nam kaže da Bog mrzi kada postoji nesporazum među braćom. God is a God of love and love requires more than one. On je Bog ljubavi, a za, da ljubav postoji, mora postojati više od jedne osobe. There must be unity in love. Mora biti ujedinjenost u ljubavi. And there must be truth in love. I mora postojati istina u ljubavi. Transparency. Uh, otvorenost je. Yeah. I mean, if, you know, if I told my wife that I love her, ako da, kažem ženi da je volim, But then when she would ask me something I wouldn't tell her the truth. Ali bi onda slagao kad me nešto pita. My statement of love wouldn't mean as much. Onda to što sam joj rekao da je volim baš ne znači mnogo. When you love someone you tell them the truth. Ako voliš nekoga onda ćeš im kazati istinu. And when you love someone you seek the best for that person. Ako voliš tu osobu onda želiš najbolje za njih. Psalm 133 says 133. psalm kaže Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to dwell together in unity. A, kako je lepo i krasno kad sva braća žive zajedno. But in the Serbian translation the word unity is left off because it's already in the word together. A, ova reč ujedinjenost koja se koristi u engleskom se ne koristi i u našem prevodu zato što se koristi reč zajedno. zajedno. But really the, the, the message is how beautiful it is when they're together united they're together as one. Ali poruka je ista kako je lepo kada smo svi zajedno ujedinjeni. Because you can easily live together with someone you don't love, can't you? Možeš živjeti sa nekim koje, koga ne voliš, je to lako? But to live together in unity is a whole different thing. Ali da živiš ujedinjen uh, to je druga stvar. This was God's plan all along. To je Oduvek bio Božji plan. This is God's plan for your life. To je Božji plan za tvoj život. But the devil is the one who brings division. Ali Satana je taj koji ra- donosi uh, nesporazumje i razdvajanje. When we look back to our old country. Kada gledamo uh, na našu staru zemlju. What was the motto of the old Yugoslavia? Uh, what, uh, koji je bio moto naše zemlje? Brotherhood and unity. Bratstvo i jedinstvo. Tell me. Why didn't brotherhood and unity re- remain unity? Uh, recite mi zašto je ovo nije uspelo, zašto nismo ostali ujedinjeni? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can see it's the same spirit that ruled from the ancient times to today. To je isti duh koji uh, se ispoljava od uh, ranih vremena pa sve do danas. To divide and conquer da se sve razdvoji i da se vlada. This is not the spirit of Christ. Ovo nije Hristov duh. And when he he does it in one country he'll do it in a different country. Kada se desi u jednoj zemlji onda on uradi to u drugoj zemlji. But tell me why couldn't love keep brotherhood and unity together? Ali zašto ljubav nije mogla da uh, drži bratstvo i jedinstvo? You see we use the word love very flippantly these days. Ovi dana koristimo reč ljubav vrlo lako. What was the brotherhood and unity based on? Na čemu šta je bila baza ovog bratstva i jedinstva? What's this guy's name? Kako se zove ovaj čovek? Was How did Tito come to power? Kako did, je Tito došao uh, na vladu? Was it through love? Da li je to bilo kroz bratstvo, ljubav i jedinstvo? No. Ne. Through war, through kroz, coercion, kroz through ratove, deception. kroz uh, prevara. World leaders have always fought to win countries. They never did it by love and compassion. Svetske vođe su uvek se borili uh, za vladu. Nikada to nisu učinili kroz ljubav. But how many followers does Tito have today? Ali koliko... Uh, sledbenika ima Tito danas. How many people pay homage to Caesar today? Koliko ljudi uh, slede Cezara danas? All world leaders are but for a season. Sve vođe uh, imaju svoje vreme koje prođe. But Jesus who died 2000 years ago and rose again. Ali Isus koji je pre 2000 godina umro i uh, ponovo um, ustao, je. Yeah had no country or nation that he claimed as his own. Nije vladao nad nijednom uh, zemljom ili nacijom. 
Yet he has more than 2 billion professed followers. Ali on ima više od 2 milijarde sledbenika. Professed. Bar oni koji kaže da, ga, da su sledbenici. More than 2000 years later. I to je više nego 2000 godine nakon što and je on živeo. And people willing to die and give their life for Christ. Postoje ljudi koji su spremni da daju svoj život za Hrista. Because there is a kind of love that unites that no Caesar or Tito can bring about. Zato što postoji jedna ljubav koja ujedinjuje koji Cezar i Tito nisu posjedovali. And this is what the enemy hates God's people so much. I zato neprijatelj toliko mrzi Božji narod. Because God's love zato što Božja ljubav so je mnogo jača od svih sila na ovoj zemlji. So he wants to create division and destroy love from within. I on želi da uh, razdvoji te ljude i tu ljubav. He wants to aid and promote those who cooperate with him. On želi da pomogne i promoviše one koji rade za njega. But once they've done their bit, ali kada su oni učinili svoj deo, He let them be stabbed in the back like Caesar. On će dopustiti da ih ih neko uh, ubije iz leđa kao što su Cezara. He uses people. On iskorištava ljude. But he wants leaders to um what's the word to he wants people to be distrusting of leaders and and of each other. On želi da uh, postoji nepoverenje prema vođama i prema jedni drugima. Especially in the church. Pogotovo u crkvi. And he encourages meaningless expenditure spending on things that don't benefit the mission of the church. I on želi da trošimo svoje vreme i i novac na stvari koje nemaju značaja i umesto da koristimo to za crkvenu misiju. If we just spend money on iPads and iPhones and cars and houses Yeah, we will we'll have a nice life. Ako trošimo uh, pare na najnoviji iPhone, na auto, na kuću, imaćemo lep život. But it won't last. Ali neće trajati. And who knows who guarantees you'll have it tomorrow? I ne može niko obećati da ćete sutra imati sve te stvari. Look at the might of Rome, how big and beautiful the streets and cities they built. Kada gledamo silu Rimske imperije, njihove ulice, gradove, Today they museums of rubble. Danas uh, ili ne postoje ili su deo muzeja. Before we finish I want to take you to the New Testament. What hope do we have as a church? What is our solution? Pre nego što završimo želim da čitamo stih iz Novog zaveta koja je naša nada i koje je rešenje našem problemu. I'll read three verses. Čitaću tri stihova. Jude is a very small book. It's just before the new, uh, revelation in the new testament and jude knows that just as the world powers cause division that people would come into the church to cause division from within jude is now da kao što svetski vladari uh, uh, spremaju podele tako će se slično desiti i u crkvi he says from verse 16 um These are grumblers, complainers, walking according to their own lusts, and they mouth and they, they mouth great swelling words, flattery, pe- flattering people to gain advantage. U 16. stihu kaže: Ovo su nezadovoljni vikači koji po željama svojim žive i usta njihova govore ponosite reči i za dobitak gledaju koje ko. But you beloved, remember the words which were spoken before by the apostles and our Lord Jesus Christ. A vi ljubazni opominjite se reči koje napred kazaše apostoli Gospoda našega Isusa Hrista. How they told you that there would be mockers in the last days who would walk according to their own ungodly lust. Jer vam kazaše da će u posljednje vrijeme postati rugači koji će hodati po svojim željama i bezbožnostima. These are sensual persons who cause division not having the spirit. Ovo su oni što se odvajaju od jedinosti vere i jesu telesni koji duha nemaju. But you beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. A vi ljubazni, naziđujte se svojom svetom verom i molite se Bogu duhom svetim i sami sebe držite u ljubavi Božjoj, čekajući milosti Gospoda našega Isusa Hrista za život večni. 
What two main things is Jude recommending to the church? Koje dve stvari Juda preporučuje crkvi? First, remember the words of the apostles and Jesus. Prvo, setite se reči apostola i Isusa. Don't be deceived. Know your Bible. Znajte šta piše u Bibliji, ne dajte da vas neko prevari. And secondly, build up your faith by what? I by na... praying and by keeping yourselves in the love of God. I druga stvar, uh, držite svoju veru uh, time što se molite i što ljubite jedan drugoga. We know what love is. Znamo šta je ljubav. Love does not boast. Love is not envy. Love is not proud. Love is patient, is kind. Ljubav se ne ponosi, um, uh, ima strpljenje, milost. This is the only thing that will keep the church united. Ovo je jedina stvar koja će uh, ujediniti našu crkvu. Our walk with God. Uh, na, naš uh, hod sa Bogom. And with each other. I sa jedni drugima. Romans 8:31 gives us hope. Rimljani 8:31 nam daje nadu. Paul says here, you know, what can divide us? What can separate us from God? Uh, Ka- Pavle kaže, šta ćemo dakle reći na ovo? Ako je Bog s nama, ko će na nas? And he, and he lists the things that the devil will send your way to divide you from God and from other people. I ovdje nabrajava stvari koje će Sotona poslati da nas odvoje od Boga. He says, shall this, shall that, shall distress, famine, persecution, nakedness or the sword, shall this separate us from God's love? Da li će bilo koje od ovih stvari nas odvojiti od Boga? He says, for I am persuaded, verse 38. U 38. stihu kaže, that neither death nor life, jer znam jamačno da ni smrt ni život, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, ni anđeli, ni poglavarstva, ni sile, ni sadašnje, ni buduće, nor height, nor depth, ni visina, ni dubina, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Ni druga kakva tvar može nas razdvojiti od ljubavi Božje koja je u Hristu Isusu Gospodu našemu. The devil has, an, has a plan. Sotona ima plan. But God's plan is so much better. Ali Božji plan je mnogo bolji. May you join him in his work of unity and and truth and love. Udružite se u njegovom poslu jedinstva, istine i vere. And may you stand with your brother and sister when Jesus returns to bring us home together. Da bi stajali zajedno sa svojim bratom i sestrom kada Isus ponovo dođe da nas odvede kući. Amen. Amen.